How's it going, Forex traders? Now, guys, welcome, welcome, welcome back to yet another amazing video from yours truly. My name is Tapolit, and guys, today I've got some juicy trades, man. I've got some juicy trades, my gun. Okay, the Forex sniper is back, and I'm back with a bank, Euro dollar, GBP USD, AUD USD, gold, and the SP 500 all lined up pretty nicely for me and you to extract some pips and put some money in our bank. <laughs> Guys, I'm back. If you just joined me for the first time, um, this is pretty much a segment of my YouTube channel called Trader Talk. Basically, where I come to practice what I preach is where I come to show you guys my analysis and how I intend to extract money from the market. Uh, like I said earlier at the beginning of the video, my name is Dapolis. I've been doing this for about 13 years. Yes, a very long time. So trust me when I say my approach and my strategy to the market is one of the best. I use an, uh, I use an approach called the top-down analysis. So sit there and go nowhere. I'm going to be taking you guys into my screen. So basically, if you listen to my advice, the idea here is if you listen to my advice um, and Obviously, you, you need to have some background knowledge of trading, right? You listen to my advice. You 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 basically pay attention to everything I'm saying. I see no reason why at least you shouldn't just buy one. At least this this end of, by the end of April, now you should have one Mercedes Benz C class in your house first. Just to hold yourself. <laughs> one nice Mercedes Benz C class. Type Mercedes Benz C class in the comments. C class is coming for you, <laughs> guys. So yeah, I'm about to jump into my chat, but before I do that. I just wanted to quickly apologize for not being on YouTube for quite some time. I've had to drag myself back to YouTube, but I, I, I just got into a situation, actually a very personal situation in my life, whereby I, I, I was like, I don't know how to explain it, I was, just, I was just dealing with a lot, and I just decided to stay away from the camera for a bit um, so that I could focus on me and focus on running the business, right? There's Willis Capital, which is the best prop firm out there in the world, so I had to basically stay away from the camera because I wasn't okay, focus on me, make sure I felt better, and then focus on Willis Capital and ensure that we deliver on what exactly it is we have promised. We promised live trading, we promised real quotes, we promised the best spreads, we promised live payouts. So I had to focus on that and also had to focus on me as well. And the situation that actually happened to me was a very, um, has nothing to do with trading, but you know, life is life. Like you can have all the money in the world and just, Guys, I'm telling you, I don't mean to sound a bit superstitious, but when great things are about to happen for you and, you know, God is literally making good things happen to you, there's always going to be one thing or the other, you know, that's just going to steal your joy away for, you know, for one reason or the other. Sometimes it's not your fault, sometimes it's your fault. And this is another aspect of life people fail to do. It's always important for you to take accountability, you know. So I just found myself in a situation whereby... You know, it's just like trading. I was trying to you know, salvage the whole thing. And you know those trades whereby you get into them, you know you've messed up, but you're trying to fix it. But for some strange reason, that trade just isn't happening. Like, it just keeps bleeding you dry. And you just have to wake up one day and say to yourself, listen, is that I caught this loss short? Or this shit's going to drain my account? Same thing in life. There's some situations whereby, you know, you've given it your best. You've tried everything. You just wake up one day and just like, yo, Two things are gonna happen. Either this situation kills me, <laughs> or I just have to walk away and save my life. And sometimes it's just really unfortunate. They were hurt at the time. But you have to remember something. My dad always is telling me something. Listen, Daps, you know, sometimes you just need to stop swimming. Just stay still. Stay still and relax. And just when you know you've given something your best, you know, so you can relate this to trading as well. Once you know you've given something your best, sometimes you just need to stay still and then allow water to find this level. You wake up one day and you're just like, yo, it's time to close this trade, it's time to close this situation, and let's bounce. And obviously, I uh, flew to Nigeria to be with my, my team, flew to Nigeria to be with my family. For those guys who do not know, I'm actually in Nigeria at the moment. You've probably been following me on Instagram, You've probably seen me. Um, guys, I have to tell you something, man. From the moment I stepped foot in Doha, right and obviously back to the situation always make sure to take accountability and learn don't blame oh the market makers don't blame anybody else you messed up you messed up take account so that you learn do you know what i'm saying sometimes it's too late for you to correct whatever it is take accountability i messed up it's okay it's okay and that's why i'm such a good trader today you have to say i have messed up next time i'll do better right anyways back to what i was saying so from the moment i boarded the plane from Dubai, I landed in Doha to catch my connecting flight to Lagos. Yo, bro, people started walking up to me in the airport. The security stopped me. I thought I was in trouble, right? I thought I'm in trouble. Like, yo, what's going on? And the guy's like, yo, that poor Willis. 
I'm like, yeah, what's happening, nigga? I'm that for Willis. He's like, I watch all your videos. I bought the Forex Mastery course. You're the best. Because of your Forex Mastery course, I made money from Forex and I was able to plan my relocation journey to Qatar. I was like, wow. Long, not too long after I cleared security to go catch my connecting flight to, to Lagos, I'm sat in the waiting room, right? Another guy comes to me and says, excuse me. And this is how everybody always comes to me, like, excuse me, sorry, are you, are you, I'm like, yeah, it's me. Like, bro, I live in Italy and I lost my job. But after I bought your Forex Mastery course, my trading changed and I have a Willis Capital Prop account and, and my, I, I don't even need to go to work. Your Forex course has changed my life. I thought that was, like, I thought that was everything. Bro, when I landed Mutala Mohammed Airport in Lagos, guy, from the, from the, from the police, uh, from the security agencies, Everybody was like that poor Willis, that poor Willis. And guys, the reason I'm saying I came out even whilst I was waiting for my security and my drivers to pull up, ah, you that poor Willis. One guy literally came the way he shook me, he like, ah, I said, guy, he won't break my heart. <laughs> he, like, and guys, yo, the love is real. Everybody just kept on telling me, thank you for doing what you do. At that point, whatever thing it is I was feeling, I had to put it aside because. I realized that a lot of people depend on me to put food on the table. People were telling me I've paid my children's school fees because of the Forex Mastery program, because of your teachers, because of Trader Talk. I've paid, like, these videos I'm putting out are actually changing people's lives. In that very instant, I had to free whatever I was doing, I had to come back in front of the camera. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, everybody who I've seen throughout my entire flight from Dubai to Lagos and everybody I've seen since I've been around that has come up to talk to me, I see every single one of you. I appreciate you. Keep doing you. And guess what? I'm back. Dapo Willis is back and I'm back to deliver on my promise to you guys. I will liberate you guys from your regular 9 to 5 earning some peasley changes to actually live in, in a home that you like. Take care of your family, take care of your children and take care of your mother. Once again, if you haven't grabbed the Forex Mastery Program, the link is in the description as always or around it. Grab it and liberate yourself so that you can start making money like every other person who watches my YouTube video. Now guys, enough of all of that. Once again, I love you very much, but let's make some money. Let's go, baby. All right, guys, so welcome inside of my screen. Welcome into the thing I love to do the most, which is trading the foreign exchange market. Anytime I see my charts, I absolutely, absolutely come alive and yeah we're back here it's, it's amazing to be sharing my screen with you guys as you guys can already see AUD USD is about to melt to the bottom I have Euro USD dropping GDP USD dropping and gold lining up perfectly for us to all take advantage of guys once again it's a pleasure to be sat back with you guys um, obviously talking about Forex now guys before I jump into the obviously the nitty gritties of today before I start breaking down the charts you guys need to do us one favor and smash this actually do yourself a favor and smash this subscribe button right there so that you don't miss out on juicy opportunities like this i can see the channel is roughly about 137 or 38,000 subscribers we should be right about 200k but obviously because i've been away for a bit um and i haven't really been posting that much so obviously we're here but i'm here to take the channel to the next level why because we're here to spread the gospel of forex how to do things properly so guys you guys heard me talking about the top-down analysis and the forex mastery program in the introduction of this video i want to show you guys once again for those of you guys who are students of the forex mastery program kudos to you guys for those of you guys who are not I encourage you to go ahead and grab the program once again the link is going to be in the description as always i'm going to show you how i use the top-down analysis to <laughs> dissect this chart and give us the best trading opportunities possible don't believe me watch just watch me watch watch me. all right guys so the very first pair i'm going to kick off with is AUD USD. so let's break this things down this let's break this thing uh let's break this thing down guys um forex mastery students you already know how we roll what do we do first things first we need to go on the monthly time frame to see what exactly is going on um so top down analysis is basically when you go from a higher time frame to the highest the highest time frame which is the monthly time frame identify the overall trend of the market so as you can see on the monthly time frame this market is pointing south we're coming down we're coming down we're coming down and that's for that reason this is why i haven't really been looking for buy opportunities on AUD USD because i always like to what respect the flow of the river look at it this way okay guys imagine if 
a massive river, a big body of water is flowing south. Imagine if you go and try and swim against the current of that water. It's going to crush you. But think about it this way. Imagine if it was flowing south and you just take your little boat, put it in the water, jump in. The current is just going to literally carry you effortlessly into the direction in which you're supposed to be going. So this is the same principle that we like to use here on Learn Forex with Dapper Willis and Forex Mastery program. It's simple. We trade in the direction of the monthly time frame. It's as simple as that. So monthly time frame is pointing downwards. So all I'm going to be doing is looking for bearish opportunities. So once we finish with the monthly, we we'll obviously come over to the weekly. And on the weekly time frame, from what I can see, so weekly time frame is where I come and plot my most my key levels. Now, once again, if you want to learn how to plot these key levels, you have to get the Forex Mastery program. I teach how to do every I teach people uh you guys how to do it properly. So the key levels are pretty much there to guide. So if the market is flowing down, right? The market doesn't just drop. It goes down, comes up goes down comes up so these key levels are pretty much what what guide the waves as they oscillate towards the downside and they 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 they, they, they are there to pretty much guide you so that you don't start selling into support or start buying at resistance right these major levels are basically there to tell you where the market is most likely going to what turn around so it's very important for you to have them on your chart this they, like you can literally sell here and buy like guys take a look at this when the market came in here sold off came here sold off bounce off of here came down here bounce here sold off here so you can see that this guy this ladies and gentlemen these key levels are amazing right so from what i can see here it's very simple no rocket science right AUD USD is looking like it wants to melt all the way to the downside okay i can see um this is a clear cut pattern now i'm gonna after the weekly time frame i then come to the daily time frame so on here so on the daily time frame is where we come and try and find the most immediate trend within the overall trend right so from from the look of things uh give me a sec guys let me just come so what i what was actually trying to happen on AUD USD before was it was looking like it was about to be a trend reversal okay let me just show you and break it down for you guys it was looking like a potential trend reversal right around here listen guys around here okay it was looking like it was about to be a potential trend reversal around here we came down here and then it looked like this minor level was holding this bad boy about here and it looked like okay this was a breakout retest continuation to the upside however i told people i'm not really interested in trading this some AUD usd bullish why because like i said guys if the monthly time frame and the overall time of the overall flow of the river is pointing downwards i have no business buying because it's going to frustrate you. That's why most people don't understand why I just stay away from counter trend trades. It is very frustrating and unpredictable. I'm not going to be jumping in for 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 pips. I ain't got time for that, bro. I need the big bread. I need the big bags. You know what I'm saying? I need me some big bags. So you know, counter trends don't give me big bags. Trend following though gives me the best reward, best return on investment. And as you can see, we tried Pam and we tried again Pam. And now the weekly candle has come and closed back down below this trend line. So I have no doubt in my mind that this bad boy wants to flow south. And if you look very carefully, this was a resistance level that has been holding also acted as a point of support for a period of time we have played with it toyed with it toyed with it we are now currently pointing downwards so the weekly has told me what it needs to know then i come on the daily to try and look for potential areas whereby i can take advantage of this trade now personally 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 i'm not gonna lie to you personally i'm already in this trade okay for those guys that are wondering how i got into this trade very simple and straightforward right i use my counter trend entry strategy which i talk about on module 5 on uh, the forex mastery program um but my first target isn't anything that juicy okay my first target actually the market should just be coming into my first target what time is it right now yes i'll need to check my hold on I need to check my trades when i'm done with this i'll check my trade so my first level target for this trade is somewhere around here you're probably saying to yourself this risk reward is not that juicy guys let me let you in on a little secret right your first trade 
your risk to reward is not really meant to be all that juicy. The idea of your first trade is just so that you can jump in and start making some profit so that you have some free capital to jump into the next trade. Let me explain to you what I mean. So this trade, I, I jumped in here. My stop losses are above here. So between here, this trade is technically between my entries. Listen, guys, between my let's go to the four hours. So it's the four hour time frame that I usually like to, to, to place my entry. So I saw the breakup retest continuation. So my entries are actually here on this pullback. Now I put my stop losses all the way up here. You can put it wherever it is you want to put it, but I like to like I keep telling you guys, I manage a significant amount of money. So I can't really be I can't really be effing around. I have to do things properly, right? So Entries are here. First level target is going to be here. Why? Because this is known as the 100% retracement. Now, nobody is saying that you should close all your trades here. No. What I like to do is I like to jump in here. No matter what, the, even if the risk reward is one to one, I'll jump in and then when we get here, I will then do what they call close 20% of my position. Okay. Once I close 20% of my position, I will then move my stop losses past break even, meaning that I've taken something like it's small, low, but it's something. And then once we break down here, I have all my remaining trades left to run. That is one trade. The next trade I'm going to be placing is once we break this barrier somewhere around here. I'll then be looking for another trading opportunity, which you can easily find if you scale to the four hour time frame. Okay, I'll show you guys. And I'm going to be here trading everything with you guys live, okay? So, once you, obviously, we break down here, somewhere around here, I'm going to be looking for another entry opportunity to jump in this time around for a, for a bigger risk to reward ratio. So, usually my second trade is usually like a 6 to 1 risk to reward ratio. Um, and then, obviously, the market drops all the way back down. Now, why don't I put, you know, load up too much risk here? Because at this point, the market is still pretty much termed as higher risk. Anything can still happen. The stop losses is too far. I don't want to risk it. So I'll be conservative. This is the strategy. I'm conservative on my first entry. And I'm very, very, not very risky, but I'm, I, you know, understand, I, I apply more risk to my second trade. Why? Because the first entry has worked. It has given me money. I've even taken some money, put it in my pocket and it's still flowing in my profitable direction. So I have no issue with adding more money to that trade because why? The trade has been proven, approved and tested. Uh, no, it has been tested, no, it has been tested, proven and approved. You don't carry everything is okay. You understand? It's giving me the thumbs up. So for now, what I need for AUDUS to do for me, I need it to what confirm to me, confirm to me my J. Break down here. Once you break down here, I jump on a quick sell, and then we can carry this bad boy to the downside. So I am ninety five percent bearish on AUDUS. I see no reason why this guy should not drop, except the good Lord in heaven says no. <laughs> uh, Sometimes uh, when it comes to forex, God be like no. I'm not ready for you to use it to drop. Ah, people will be praying, hey God, please help my trade, help my trade, so I can feed my family. Help me, help me, help me, help me. Help me. Anyway, so guys. That's AUDUSD in a nutshell. I'm already jumping on this trade. What you can do is wait for the market to break this key level. Not really a key level. This support zone about here. Once we break down here, you're free. This month. So next level target for AUDUSD is going to be this green bar. Hopefully, once we break here, you might come to 0.600, which is a round number. I've been waiting for this market to roll over for the longest time. But oh my guys, sometimes it just things just take time, bro. You can't force anything. You have to allow things to take time. You have to allow certain things run its course you know what i'm saying like everything in life you can't rush certain things if not you'll keep burning you biting you if it's not time it's not time do you understand what i mean you keep forcing it and then it's going to end up hurting you so AUDUS, ladies and gentlemen in a nutshell i'm calling next level target 0.62809 you heard it here first on dapsy radio for all of you who are willis capital traders here you go this is an amazing trading opportunity for you guys um 
So yeah, guys, I wanted to obviously remind you guys, if you haven't gotten the Willis Capital account, go and get it. But most importantly, please get yourself educated. The Forex Mastery Program will teach you how to do all of this so that you can literally put food on your table consistently. So that's AUDUSD done in a nutshell. Let's go over to EURUSD. EURUSD has been looking pretty much very juicy. Now, let me explain to you guys what exactly is going on with the Euro dollar, right? You know me, I'll break everything down for you guys and put it in your coconut head. Oh, you day traders, I don't want to listen to me. I will put everything in your coconut head. Actually, let me put this watch list here so that I know I just crop only this side out of the screen and just put it for you guys to see. Now, Euro dollar, what's been happening to the Euro dollar? Uh, well, for the longest time, um, I mean, for the longest time, for the longest time, for the longest time, hold on, I'm trying to give you guys the smoothest analysis for this bad boy so you guys can understand what's going on. Well, go on, this business, going to business, that trend line is a very important one and I need to keep it there for reference purposes. So, top down analysis, you guys can see Euro is pointing downwards, right? There's no, you know, there's no two ways about it. So, technically, you know, I mean, I've just been looking downwards. Now, I cut this entire wave to the downside. Let me just zoom in so you guys can see. I cut this entire wave to the downside. It was nice, juicy, very, you understand, know, some nice profits. If you come over to the daily time, we'll be able to see a, a bit better. You know what I'm saying? So we got down to, you know, just slightly past parity. And then Euro started to retrace all the way to the downside, um, back to the upside. So I said, all right, cool. It's time for us to take profit. Now, this profit taking took most of 2023. <laughs> Imagine profit consolidation taking almost a whole year. A whole year, guys. Forex. Hey. And you know the thing about consolidation, people always think that <sighs> you see, the problem is a lot of people can't really identify when the market wants to go into consolidation. And I'm a kind of trader, I'm a trend trader. So that's why you saw most of 2023. I really stayed away from the charts. I wasn't really putting out that many trader talks. I was doing more of some certain pairs that I was more certain of, but I stayed away from the Euro USD and the GBP USD. Why? Because the top down analysis had already shown me that, look, Daps, this has been a massive meltdown from the upside. It's a massive meltdown from the upside, bro. It's a massive thing from the upside all the way down. It's a massive meltdown. And then, after every massive move, there must be a consolidation period. So I just left this guy alone because today is up, tomorrow is down, today is up, tomorrow is down. And he will come here, he will, not, he will think he wants to come down to the down that or it was the main down of before. You think this one will come here, so you are selling from here down. And it will just get to the middle here and go up. Now you think, oh, this is resistance. You start selling here, the thing will do like it wants to come back down and take out your stops. <laughs> don't, don't play with a range, oh. Don't play with a rage. In this game, are you playing? Are you playing with Forex? Anyways, so for the longest time, I just decided to watch. Sit back, watch, and just observe what was happening with the euro dollar and one thing i like about forex is anytime the market goes into a period of consolidation right most time most often times are not we usually form a chart pattern now that chart pattern will now be the guide as to what is going to happen next after we break out of the range now in this case as you guys can see clearly forex mastery students you guys know i taught this on module 7 trend reversals what you have in front of you here is a clear case of head, two left shoulders, and two right shoulders. And this is a neckline for this massive consolidation. Now, first of all, Euro dollar was pointing down. If I take my Fibonacci from the most immediate swing high to swing low, you can see we've jumped into this Fibonacci Fib. This is, I call it the Willis zone. We're currently in the Willis zone pointing down. So overall flow is pointing down. Fibonacci is pointing sell-off and now apart from that we have a head and shoulder pattern that is also pointing downwards as well. You guys know once a neckline of a head and shoulder pattern breaks on the weekly time frame, woof, we're coming all the way back down here. Now also if you look very closely, the right shoulder of this big head and shoulder formed his own head and shoulder. Look, this is a left shoulder, head, right shoulder. And that is why you're seeing this sell-off right about here on the euro dollar. This is a left shoulder, 
this is a right shoulder left shoulder head and this is a neckline and you guys know once we break the neckline we must always come what and drop all the way to the downside now the reason i'm adjusting this is for uh technical reason so how do you anticipate where euro dollar is going to drop down to next so i just want to move this down a bit and actually just put this somewhere around here okay good how do you anticipate what's going to happen next simple you just calculate the entire period of the range okay so the entire period of the range because i don't want to be overly optimistic if i just adjust this down here so chances are that the euro is going to drop down into this level about here which was also kind of like in conferences let me just make sure my blue bar is adjusted properly for i just need to make it make it a bit a bit lighter a bit more streamlined okay to move it up to accommodate something yeah good and as you guys can see if i draw my my, my trend line like so this is also looking like not just a head and shoulder but this is also looking like a breakout of a trend line so without a doubt the euro is going to drop into this blue bar a lot of factors are in play here do you get what i mean not only do we oh my goodness uh, Z, thank you let me remove this i don't want to confuse you guys okay so what so the idea here is we're trying to build a case as to why we should place a particular trade so these are all the technical things i like to look at before i jump into any trade now from what i can see the euro dollar from a left shoulder apart from the big one it formed the left shoulder head and right shoulder we've broken the neckline we bounced off so break out retest continuation break of the neckline so we're coming to at least come and fulfill the same amount of pips that he, he did he range so the idea is anytime the market is stuck in a range okay it will break out and you know do a similar amount of pips that it did whilst it was in the range so let's say you range for about in this case maybe 300 pips now the breakout will be for 300 pips so if you're in this trade already kudos to you you're you know you're gonna catch all of this now if you're not in this trade you have to literally scan lower you now need to bring out for those of you guys who are scalpers and for those of you guys who are lower time frame traders this will be very amazing for you i on the other hand i will be looking for pullback into supply areas I can already identify that this is more or somewhat of a supply zone so i'm just going to be waiting so this is why i like to bring out my supply and demand strategy for lower time frames just to see what exactly is going to happen so i'll just be i'll just highlight some very very uh key areas okay so especially areas of sell-off and then i'm just going to be watching to see any pullbacks and then i'm going to be jumping on this to the downside so that's euro usd guys and then the good side about euro dollar is if if we can break here if we break here oh um, uh, pips pips galore but first of all our first primary you know area of contact is this bad boy if we get if i jump into this trade i get a nice entry with a nice stop loss maybe like a 50 pip stop loss um, i don't i will hold this trade and hopefully we break here if we break here imagine whole using a 50 pip stop loss to catch so from here 1.1 1.00 all the way down here so you're looking about a potential six to seven hundred pip drop with a 50 pip stop loss ah it's not, it's not rocket size now that is quick 40 50 percent on your account in just one trade and one pair and normally you know me as we continue to make our way to the downside i will definitely be adding to my positions as we obviously bleed all the way to the downside so you know it is what it is so euro usd i'm definitely on my watch list for a potential pullback i like i said been dealing with a lot lately um obviously apart from the fact i've been dealing with a lot in my personal life i have been trying to run willis capital which hasn't been easy run the investment portfolio aspect of the business um so it's been a lot um so i just find myself missing trades which is very annoying but like i said to you guys at the beginning of the video i'm back is me you guys and this chart we must extract these profits by hook or by crook okay by what hook or by crook so that's euro usd ladies and gentlemen in a nutshell let's go over i had gbp usd here somewhere but let's see why gbp is here running away too 
the situation with GBPUSD and Euro dollar is pretty much very similar. I see no reason why Euro USD shouldn't drop all the way down to uh, 1.200, which is about here. There's no reason why this guy is just stalling and bearish on this bad boy. Um, and I see no reason why we shouldn't blow out all the way to the downside. If I take my trend line and draw it like so, let's see. I take my trend line and draw it as so. This is looking like a potent, it's looking like a very juicy sell off. I'm not gonna lie to you, left shoulder, head, right shoulder. So, right shoulder sell off. Um, I'm gonna actually let me scale down to a four hour time frame. So, I'm gonna be looking for potential selling opportunities all the way to the downside. Ooh, this one was, this has actually been in a range like so. So, ladies and gentlemen, GBPUSD heading south without a doubt. I see no reason why we shouldn't be heading south. I'll just be looking for a more refined entry point and I'm going to be dumping this bad boy to the downside, okay? But the problem is, why is GBPUSD not on my watch list? So, guys, we've just covered AUDUSD, which is very simple, straightforward. What are we doing? We're waiting for this immediate support area to be broken to add to our position. Euro USD, we're waiting for a one hour time frame pullback potentially into a supply region to drop this bad boy. We might float past here and float a bit higher, but I'm just going to be watching. Um, once again, I will be updating you guys. Uh, and then GBP USD, I just spoke about that. Now over to the S&P 500, which S&P 500 is what pretty much saved uh, my trading for last year. When I mean saved, like it just, um, I like to make a specific amount of returns annually, right? Just for my own personal ego, for my own personal satisfaction. There's a certain amount of pips I like to make every year. Certain, sorry, certain percentage return I like to make every year. But 2023 market was just slow. But the uh, S&P 500 was one of those trades that just boosted all the way to the upside. You guys know I did the analysis live here. I jumped in for a buy here and then the market was just going and going and going and we were just locking in, locking in, locking in until we've actually gotten to this point whereby the market is looking like it is stalling. Um, so yes, why is uh, S&P 500 stalling? It's probably because of the 127 extension, which is here, as if I knew. This is the 127 extension. We're coming here and profit taking must be sorry. I need to adjust down my level properly. Profit taking is definitely going on here at the 1.27 extension, not 0 0.20 extension. I would I won't be it won't be out of place for us to see a potential pullback of SP 500 probably into um one to one of these regions or play around here for a bit before we continue higher but without a doubt i see the s p 500 making i mean it's already made brand new highs you guys like i told you guys if i tell you guys something is going to happen you understand i called it here first on trader talk so s p 500 wait for a potential retracement let's see what's happening with oil i've been liking oil a bit lately so for oil for oil um this is this right so this is the typical how many um, how many bottoms but one thing i noticed about these bottoms is for every time we put in a bottom this is higher than this one and this is slightly though slightly so i can see like a that some form of a divergence forming around here for oil so it won't be out of place for oil to just rally all the way to the upside but this will be its first area of uh, challenge so for me, I'm going to be monitoring um, oil prices, um, maybe a potential pullback into this region and then for a fire to the upside, I will be monitoring it. If the trade is juicy, I will take it. If not, if I feel like it's too much of a risk, I'm going to leave it. Um, so yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Let's see if Euro JPY is lining up. Let me not analyze too many pairs because I want to actually start dropping a lot of Trader Talk videos. So let me save one for our other. Uh, maybe I'm going to drop one over the weekend. So let me save for the next time we jump on the Trader Talk video, guys. So don't worry, guys. I'm back once again and I miss you guys very much. I love you guys. I'm here, guys. And I'm once again, I'm sorry for being away for so long. Um, I've just been dealing with a lot and it's life, I guess. It's life. But uh, Dapo Willis is back um, and I'm actually, like I said to you guys, I'm in Nigeria at the moment. I'm in Nigeria at the moment and there's no place like home, okay? Um, 
Whenever it is, I'm feeling a bit carried away and lost when I'm in Dubai. Coming back to Nigeria just reminds me of why I started in the first place and why I do what I do. And once again, I do what I do because of you guys. And I know, like I keep telling you guys, I love you guys very much. So once again, guys, this is yours truly, Dapper Willis. I love you guys, guys very much. Ensure to grab yourself the Forex Mastery Program. The link is going to be in the description as always. Um, I'll catch you guys in my other screen. If there's anything I have forgotten to discuss here, best believe I'll be back in about seven days to break down this chart again okay guys if you have any questions ask me in the in the comment section if you have any video suggestions drop them down in the in the comment section down below and i'll be sure to what do a video on it once again guys i love you and i'll catch you guys on my other screen let us go Thank you, thank you, thank you for staying to the very end of this video. My name is Daph Wallace and it's always a pleasure to hang out with you guys. Once again, if you haven't already subscribed to the YouTube channel, ensure to subscribe. And the link to the Forex Mastery Program is going to be around the, actually in the description as always. Ensure to grab it and I'll catch you guys in my subsequent videos. I love you guys very much. Take it easy and peace out.